West Virginia, Mr. McKinley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman, uh, striking the last word. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I appreciate the sponsor of this amendment, uh, Representative Brooks, for working with us uh, to include in, in her amendment the perspective of rural communities. Mr. Chairman, drug addiction and opioid abuse are a grave and growing concern all across America. But for the most, and for the most part, in the last two decades, the, the deaths have resulted from opioids have quadrupled. However, we're going to be successful. We must make sure that we're just not confronting this problem in our big cities, but also in rural America. While addiction is on the rise throughout the United States, the greatest concentration of misuse appears to be in rural areas, much like West Virginia, which has the highest rate of youth drug overdose deaths in this country at 12.6 per 100,000, almost double the national average. One reason the fatality rate is so high in West Virginia is the demographics of our state. Rural America is not the same as big cities. Take, for example, Tucker County, West Virginia, a population of, of less than 7,000 people living in a land area of 400 mile, square miles. It's twice the size of Chicago, the land mass of Chicago. But yet they don't have a hospital, and they only have two ambulances for the entire county. These rural homeowners are concerned. Imagine if you're a mother or a father or a grandparent of a child who's overdosed on opioids there. Your options are limited. If your child has not received the proper care and treatment within that medical golden hour, the chances of a positive outcome dwindle. For folks living in, for families living in rural communities throughout America, this amendment gives them a voice on the task force by including a representative from the Health Resources and Services Administration Federal Office of Rural Health Policy. This is important. It provides a unique set of challenges, and it is important that they have a voice on the task force looking to combat drug abuse and addiction. And I yield back my time. 